coach. How does it feel? It feels cold. <laughs> But uh, we're honored to help and excited to have our staff here in the athletic department here uh, to give back to uh, St. Baldrick's and hopefully raise some awareness and, and some funds for pediatric cancer research. Coach, how did you get involved with the St. Baldrick's Foundation? Honestly, there was just a pamphlet that I saw that I picked up and I thought it would be something neat to do and uh, a way to give back that really uh, just uh, at the end of the day costs you your hair, but it shows solidarity for kids that are going through it that just want to be kids. and, and Hopefully, uh, by us doing this, raises that awareness and some funds. Does this hit home for you at all? Well, like I said, I lost a teammate of mine, Matt Hartle. There's plenty of loved ones in our Northwestern family, our, our, our Fitzgerald family, and my wife's family. But uh, at the end of the day, a lot of those are private. But some way, shape, or form, probably we've all been touched by cancer some way. And on kids, it's so difficult and so tough. Are you going to get some of the guys out next year to do this? We'll see. You know, obviously, our coaches all did this on a voluntary basis. and. Same thing with our uh, folks from our athletic department. So can't say thanks enough to them. And it may be next year the guys who want to do it, maybe we'll raise a little bit more awareness and money that way. Now I have to ask you, a lot of coaches, if you look at Tom Izzo from Michigan State, said he'd shave his head if they won the Big Ten and is w going through with it after the NCAA tournament. Sure. With this already being done, what, what can you do next to motivate your guys? Well, you know, I think just our guys in general are very generous of their time. They're, they're tremendously giving to support Northwestern, the Evanston and Chicagoland community. You know, I, I, if I'm going to talk to, or, you know, talk to talk, I need to walk the walk. And uh, hopefully they see by me doing this is just a small gesture to show what they're doing. A uh, hundred times fold is, uh, is uh, that supported by me and our coaching staff. So no bets on shaving the head again? No, I, no, I'll do it again. I mean, trust me, if, if we can help raise some awareness and you see the support of the media here today to... To, to really give back to kids and their families. What, what more could we ask for? So sure, just by me getting my hair cut, what's a big deal, you know? But at the end of the day, if it helps give back, I think that's really something special and very rewarding and humbling. So maybe next year if we see uh, Northwestern take that Big Ten title, we'll be able to come back and see you like this again. Uh, maybe in March, sure. If we're going to do it maybe for St. Baldrick's to raise some awareness for pediatric cancer research, sure, we can do some stuff like that. And You know, we're just trying to get back. And uh, we're very fortunate and blessed. And, for those that are struggling, and, and it's, it's a tough time for them individually and their families, hopefully you can raise some money to help uh, maybe the next family have to a shorter trip and a shorter uh, tough road because uh, we've raised some money for them. Is the family, have they talked to you about this? Uh, my, yeah, well, my wife supports me with anything I do, and she's unbelievable. We've been together for 18 years, but uh, our little guys are getting their hair cut today too, and just try to, again, raise some awareness and, uh, and have some fun. That's very honorable of you. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. Thanks. We appreciate you guys being here. Thanks so much. Go Cats.